In this video, we will understand one of the most important tool in maths known as factorization. Factorization refers to the process of expressing any mathematical expression as a product of its factors, that is, terms that can completely divide the given expression. But question arises why there is need to express any mathematical expression as the product of its factor. Answer to this question varies as per the requirement of the problem. One common use of factorization is to simply find the factors of the given expression. The other use is to simplify a complex equation like quadratic or cubic polynomial to find its trivial solutions. Trivial solutions are the solutions that are studied with respect to zero. For example, consider an expression 2x plus 3. If this expression is equated to zero, that is 2x plus 3 equals zero and afterwards the value of variable x is figured out by rules of transposing, we get x equals minus 3 by 2. Thus, minus 3 by 2 is the trivial solution of the given equation. Let's begin with the methods used for factorizing a given expression. First method is very simple and easy to use and known as direct common method. As per this method, inspection of common terms has to be done. Consider an expression 6x raised to the power 4 minus 3x raised to the power cube plus 12x square plus 15x. On careful inspection, it can be observed that 3x is present in all the terms and can be taken as common. Thus the expression becomes 3x into 2x cube minus x square plus 4x plus 5. Here 3x is the first factor while 2x cube minus x square plus 4x plus 5 is the second factor of the given expression 6x raised to the power 4 minus 3x cube plus 12x square plus 15x. In simple words, both 3x and 2x cube minus x square plus 4x plus 5 can completely divide the given expression. What if in an expression there is no common term? Consider an expression 3x cube plus 6x square minus x minus 2. Now it can be observed that neither any constant term nor variable term is common in the given expression. To factorize such cases, there is another method known as grouping method. As per grouping method, group of twos are formed. Now direct common method is applied independently to these formed groups. Taking 3x square as common factor from the first group, we get 3x square into x plus 2. Similarly taking minus 1 as common factor from the second group, we get minus 1 into x plus 2. Since the terms are in multiplication and hence considered as 1. Therefore taking x plus 2 as common factor from these terms, we get x plus 2 into 3x square minus 1. Here, x plus 2 acts as the first factor, whereas 3x square minus 1 acts as the second factor for the given expression 3x cube plus 6x square minus x minus 2. This method works only when the number of terms are even. In case of odd number of terms, this method fails. Consider an expression x square plus 3x plus 2. By inspection, it is clear that direct common method fails as no term is common. Grouping method also fails as only one group of two is possible, hence it can't be applied. To solve such cases, there is an extension under grouping method to convert number of odd terms to even by using splitting middle term. This method works for factorizing quadratic expression. Let's understand how the middle term splits into two terms. It should be noted that to split the middle term, the given expression should be represented in the decreasing order of the variable's degree. Since the expression x square plus 3x plus 2 is already in decreasing order of variable's degree, so there is no need of rearranging the terms. Next step is to multiply the first and the third term of the given expression, that is x square into 2 which gives 2x square. Now using the term 2x square, the middle term is to be rewritten as the sum or difference of two terms. By critical thinking, 3x can be written as 2x plus 1x. Thus expression becomes x square plus 2x plus 1x plus 2. As now number of terms are even, thus grouping method is applicable. On taking x as the common factor from first group, we get x into x plus 2. While taking plus 1 as common factor from the second group, we get plus 1 into x plus 2. Since the terms are in multiplication and hence considered as 1, therefore taking x plus 2 as common factor from both the terms, we get x plus 2 into x plus 1. Here, x plus 2 is the first factor while x plus 1 is the second factor of the given expression 
x square plus 3x plus 2. Generally, maximum students ask, what is the use of these identities? Well, these are useful for simplifying large calculations and for factorization. So the next method of factorization is by using algebraic identities. The most used identity for factorization is a square minus b square which equals a plus b into a minus b. Consider an expression x square minus 25. By inspection, it is clear that neither direct common method nor grouping method is applicable. Thus knowledge of algebraic identities comes into play. By critical thinking, 25 can be expressed as square of 5. Thus, x square minus 25 can be written as x square minus 5 square, which is simplified as x minus 5 into x plus 5. Thus, x minus 5 is the first factor, while x plus 5 is the second factor. In case the given term is not a perfect square number, it can still be expressed as square by taking the root along with the square. Consider x square minus 5 as an expression. As 5 is not a perfect square number, so it can be expressed as x square minus root of 5 whole square. Now comparing it with a square minus b square we get here a equals x and b equals root of 5. Therefore the given expression is factorized as x plus root of 5 into x minus root of 5. In short, it can be concluded that to factorize a given expression, one must try to use direct common method. If it fails, then one must try to use grouping method followed by splitting middle term in case of quadratic expression. In case splitting middle term fails, one must try to compare the given expression with the algebraic identities. So this was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.